The police use of chemical spray and forceful tactics on Occupy protesters in recent days have focused attention on the authorities' crackdown of the movement. Meanwhile, some Washington lobbyists who seek to discredit the movement have been marketing their services to some powerful companies. Michael Lawson reports. A pitch memo from a strategy and lobbying firm to the American Bankers Association leaked to MSNBC reveals a ready-made plan to discredit the Occupy movement. The firm of Clark, Lytle, Gadoldick and Cranford offers its services for $850,000 to counter potential Democratic Party sympathy for those demanding greater accountability from Wall Street. CLGC warns that politicians adopting the Occupy message could have, quote, long-lasting political, policy, and financial impacts on financial companies. The memo warns that a, quote, overlap on angered populism shared by the Occupy movement and the Tea Party could cause Republicans to no longer defend Wall Street companies. 24-year-old Petro of Maine has been a resident of Occupy D.C. for nearly a month. He says it's no surprise corporations may seek to fight back against the growing movement. Our society has this this uh, way of funneling money through to politicians from corporate intre- uh, corporate enterprises, and um, and the Occupy movement is pushing back against that. And now, of course, they are pushing back against us. Under its plan, CLGC will conduct opposition research to explore how the movement is funded, as well as search social media to extract the more extreme elements of the protest for constructing a, quote, negative narrative. CLGC services would also consist of media campaigns and surveys to sway public opinion. Petro says the plans to discredit the movement show the movement's strength. It it goes to show you, though, that this is a legitimate movement because they're now putting a significant amount of resources into stopping it. CLGC declined to comment, but according to their proposal, the firm would target surveys and campaigns in eight key swing states that will be critical in the 2012 elections. Despite the Occupy movement's refusal to associate with any particular political party, it is certainly on politicians' radar. While many Democrats have been hesitant to fully embrace the movement, Republicans, including presidential candidate Newt Gingrich, who is now leading in the polls, have not been shy in their criticisms. Gingrich took heat for his comments over the weekend at an Iowa Family Values forum about Occupy protesters. That is a pretty good symptom of how much the left has collapsed as a moral system in this country and why you need to reassert something as simple as saying to them, go get a job right after you take a bath. Common Cause is a Washington-based organization which supports the removal of corporate influence in democracy. They have done investigations into outside groups like the American Legislative Exchange Council, or ALEC, that seeks to influence public policy and opinion. Bob Edgar is executive director of Common Cause and is supportive of the Occupy protests. While the group does not fully endorse every element of the Occupy movement, he hopes it does translate into political participation. Our hope is that the Occupy movement will take uh, signals like the investigative uh, work that's being done against them as reasons for getting involved politically over the course of the next year. We hope a number of young people will run for public office, and we hope that ethics can be restored. Even media outlets, which were at first dismissive of the occupiers, have started to attribute significance to the movement. Restrictions on journalists assigned to cover the protest may have something to do with this. Several reporters have been arrested on assignment and others have complained of procedural red tape to obtain NYPD-accredited press passes. The International Commission for Human Rights, typically trained on abuses in other countries, expressed concern with the number of reporters who have been detained and injured. Rights groups, the National Lawyers Guild and the Partnership for Civil Justice have also filed a Freedom of Information Act request for evidence of a federal role in seemingly coordinated crackdowns by police departments across the country. Michael Lawson, FSRN. Washington.